number one contender for the undisputed title, The Undertaker, and The Undertaker, the beneficiary. <laughs> In a week of gaming that saw the hotly anticipated release of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate alongside the Atelier Island DX trilogy for all the JRPG fans out there, it's easy to miss all the other games that companies dared to release around the same time. Katamari Damashi Reroll is one such game. It came in like a landing on the PC and Switch just a few days ago. For reference, I've been playing the Switch version. I'm not going to call this a review because Katamari isn't the type of game I can just sit down and smash through. In small doses I find Katamari a brilliant way to blow off some steam or have a little fun. In large doses though it tends to annoy me somewhat. It will be months of on again, off again play before I see the credits. So what is Katamari Damashi Reroll about? Well, a giant thing ate or drank, I'm not quite sure, the entire universe, or just everything in the universe, like constellations and stars and stuff. Earth is safe, but everybody is worried because the night sky is no longer filled with bright twinkly things. It's your job to refill the night sky. How, you ask? By rolling up everything you can find on Earth into a giant ball that's big enough to be launched into space to act as a makeshift star. Yep, it makes absolutely no sense, but I don't think you're meant to be playing Katamari for the story. It just provides a colourful, awkward, slightly hilarious setting for this toe-tapping crazy game to take place in. I say toe-tapping because the music is so damn good. It's weird, just like everything else in Katamari, but crazy addictive. It literally does get your toes tapping. It tops off the whole experience and makes it fun even if you're really bad at the game like I am. The concept is deceptively simple, to its detriment. Rolling a sticky ball around doesn't sound like the most challenging or engaging gameplay mechanic, but it's a lot harder than most people realise. This mostly comes down to the controls. They are awkward and take a long time to get used to, and I think this is done on purpose. The Katamari is the ball, but you aren't just a ball that can move around freely. You're a little prince who needs to manoeuvre the Katamari around. So it makes sense you can't just zip around with an analog stick and go exactly where you want to go. The game would have been really easy if this was the case. There are multiple different control schemes, including motion controls using a Joy-Con in each hand. I found this just as intuitive and responsive as the other control schemes, which is to say not very intuitive, but reasonably responsive. I played with the simplified layout for the most part, and almost always forgot some of the techniques like the charge dash, but still made it through levels just fine. Along with the controls are restrictions. You can't just roll anywhere and pick up everything right from the start. You can only pick up things that are smaller than your Katamari. The start of each level is always the most frustrating. Trying to find things small enough for you to pick up while dodging hazards in the form of larger objects, walls, moving objects, and living creatures. If you run into a large object or wall hard enough, it will knock things off your Katamari. And likewise, if a moving object or a cat or something hits you, it will knock some of the size off your Katamari as well. Combine these mechanics with the odd control scheme and excellent level design and what you have is a game that toes the line between being challenging and being relaxing. It's a tricky balance and it's why I find Katamari fantastic in small doses. The longer I play, the more frustrated I get, but dropping in to do a level or two is like a straight cathartic experience. At only $29.95 Australian dollary dues, this is a no-brainer. It will give you more than enough enjoyment for its low asking price. There's tons of replayability and you'll probably get a few kicks out of the riding to boot. And hey, if you're better at it than me, you might love it even more. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing, and I'll see you all soon.